dear brothers and sisters i welcome you all to hear and see this video message today i am going to explain the need of international standard legislation in india to counter the hand speech content for this video i given in the description you can go through and study at present there is no definition of hand speech in indian laws many of the legal restriction on hand speech that are in place today dates back to the days before the internet specialized law to control hate speech spread on the internet and notably social media is urgently needed thus taking a cue from best international standards it is important that specific and durable legislative provision that combat hate speech especially that which is propagated online and through social media are enacted by amending the ipc and the information technology act while there are provision in the indian penal code that deals with hate speech they are often vague and open to interpretation as the experience tells us these provisions are often used as selectively by the police and ruling party and there have been numerous instances where hate speech cases have been registered against individuals or groups who have criticized the government or its policies while hard speeches by individuals or groups who are politically connected have gone unpunished below are the ipc provisions to counter hard speech as, as of now in india that is section 153 of a section 153a of the indian penal code says inter alia whoever a by word either spoken or written or by signs or by visible representation or otherwise promotes or attempts to promote on grounds of religion race place of birth residence language caste or community or any other ground whatsoever discarmony or feeling of enmity hatred or ill will between different religious racial language or regional groups or caste or communities or section b commits any act which is prejudicial to the maintenance of harmony between different religious racial language or regional groups or caste or communities and which disturbs or is likely to disturb the public tranquility shall be punished with imprisonment which may extend to 3 years or with fine or with both <coughs> also section 295 a section 295a of the indian penal code enacted in 1927 says whoever with the deliberate and malicious intention of outraging the religious feeling of any class of citizens of india by words either spoken or written or by signs or by visible representation or otherwise insults or attempts to insults the religion or the religious belief of that class shall be punished with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to 3 years or with fine or with both it is possible to make reference to the australian federal law known as the criminal code amendment act 2019 which holds internet service providers accountable if they know that any of scenes are violent content which is defined is to include content that a reasonable man would find offensive is accessible through the service they provide in the context of digital single market the european union has adopted a code of conduct to prevent the spread of hate speech it calls for cooperative autonomous inclusive regulation that adheres to global best practices for content filtering and privacy rights while being tailored to local and cultural norms on june 30 2017 germany approved a bill criminalizing hate speech on social media sites among criminalizing hate speech the law states that social networking sites may be fined up to 50 million euro if they persistently fail to remove illegal content within a week including defamatory fact news the law commission of india 
Sarkar recommended that new provision in the IPC are required to be incorporated to address the issue of hate speech. In the 267th report of the Law Commission looked into various aspects of hate speech and the development of the law not only in India but also through the United Nations and some other countries, they gave a very detailed report. Importantly, they also prepared a draft bill which could actually be placed before parliament, defeated, discussed and enacted into a law if necessary. As India internet penetration continues to increase, more and more people are being exposed to hate speech. So we need best international standard legislation to counter hate speech, crimes against Muslims and Christians by Hindutva, Sangh Parivar, fundamentalist in India. The issue of hate speech is a complex and multifaceted one with no easy solution. However, a concentrated effort by all stakeholders including the government, political parties, media and the public can go a long way in addressing this problem and fostering a culture of harmony, tolerance and respect in society. Only then can we hope to achieve our constitutional goal of a truly democratic and peaceful society, where all individuals are free to express their opinions without fear of persecution or discrimination. Bible talks about new legislation to counter ad speech and crimes in India. In Nehemiah chapter 9 verse 38, because of all that has happened, we the people of Israel hereby makes a solemn right and agreement and our leaders, our levites and our priests put their seals to it. Amen.